Tonight, we are hearing from voters who received ballots that did not list all candidates. News 2's Hannah Powers joins us now from our News 2 rooftop. And Hannah, there were entire races missing from some of these ballots. Exactly, Carolyn. I spoke with one family who says when they received their ballots and went to look for county council for St. Andrew's 28th precinct, there was not anything listed. An incomplete ballot sent out in Charleston County. Sure, it was just a, an oversight, but that, that is kind of a big oversight to make. LaDon Page says an oversight that affects one of the most important elections. Since it impacts day to day life, the county council members who represent districts six and seven. I mean, certainly it's a big deal. It's a local election, and I think that our local politics have an impact more. Um, kind of on our livability and our way of life. After the discovery, Paige quickly taking action on social media. Somebody did reach out to me, I think, from absentee ballots for Charleston County and asked me to send a picture of the ballot. So I think he was on that pretty quickly. Joe Debney, the executive director of the Charleston County Elections Board, says constituents can have faith they are fixing the problem and remaining transparent. We want every single ballot that goes out to a voter to be a correct ballot. Um, and we want every single ballot that a voter votes on a voting machine to be the correct ballot, which is why we always are trying to refine our processes to make sure that this never happens. And while they say the problem is being resolved, Park Page says accidents like this shake voters' trust. It does undermine my confidence in the system. There were over 200 votes that were already cast absentee in person that will count and cannot be taken back because of state laws. Reporting live in Mount Pleasant, I'm Hannah Powers. Count on two.